After telling people not to vote, and then interviewing Ed Miliband on his late night internet programme, Russell Brand has changed his mind and is now telling English voters to vote Labour. What difference does a celebrity endorsement make though for one of the parties? Here's Vicky at the Campaign Hub. Well, no one really knows whether celebrity endorsements make any difference or sway anyone's vote, but the parties do put a certain amount of effort into it. Here we have the Labour leader, Ed Miliband, doing that now rather infamous interview with the comedian Russell Brand. It was controversial because Russell Brand recently suggested people shouldn't vote in protest at the system. Well, he seems to have had a change of heart coming out today and saying that people in England should back Labour and saying that Scottish voters didn't need an Englishman telling them what to do. There have been others, though, who have nailed their colours to the political masts. Uh, here we have a football who I'm sure you'll recognise uh, pretty much immediately. This is Sol Campbell, who has been linked with the Conservatives, some even suggesting he may be their candidate for London Mayor, and he has been seen out campaigning with some Conservative candidates. Next up, we have the actor Hugh Grant. Now, he has recently endorsed the senior Liberal Democrat Danny Alexander. Uh, Mr. Grant tweeted, Dear people of Inverness, including friends and relations, I know Danny Alexander and you're very lucky to have him. Just an opinion. A little kiss there at the end of his tweet. The Liberal Democrats, of course, will be hoping that he's got a lot of uh, friends and relations up there. It's a pretty uh, tight fight. Now on to the fashion designer, Vivian Westwood. She has given a lot of money to the Green Party. £300,000 she donated. We also have here the former Radio 1 DJ, Mike Reed. Now, he got into a bit of trouble last year when he wrote a song in support of UKIP, but it ran into trouble because he sang it in a mock Caribbean accent. He eventually apologised and withdrew it from sale. Now, the question is, does any of this make any difference? Back in November, YouGov had a look to see what contribution to the political debate people thought that Russell Brand made. Positive, 13%. Negative, 46%. And interestingly, when it came to younger voters who you might think would be more inclined to listen to what he has to say, not much different really. Positive, 19%. Negative, 29%. So we'll have to see whether any of this makes any difference come election day. Vicky, uh, up at the uh, campaign hub. Well, let's uh, get the thoughts of uh, Emily and Raphael uh, on this one. What do you think, uh, Emily? It seems like Labour have had most celebrities backing them. We've had all kinds of people. We've just seen Eddie Izzard go out with Jim Murphy. Um, I think it lends a bit of glamour. And it gets, uh, maybe it gets more pictures in the paper, which gets them more coverage. But I think overall, just because a celebrity is backing a party, doesn't have much of a direct impact. But, uh, and the problem, Raphael, with uh, Russell Brand, for example, is I mean, he's encouraged people not to vote. So anyone who perhaps took his advice a few weeks ago hasn't even sort of put yeah. in to register. I, I suspect there's a pretty high overlap on the sort of Venn diagram of people who don't turn out to vote and people who follow Russell Brand. So getting that endorsement probably isn't, isn't a, a massive advantage. Although he's got like, huge numbers of followers. Yeah, and, and well, I, I think where it's, where it's significant, yeah. I think, Emily's right, certainly gets you, gets you more newspaper uh, coverage. It also boosts the morale of your activists. And in, in a tight election like this, where so much is going to depend on getting out the vote, people just knocking on doors, having targeted the people who they know will vote for them, turning them out on the day, you need some dedicated people who will get up first thing on Thursday morning and not stop till one minute to ten on Thursday night, making sure that people turn out. And this sort of thing does help. But the, the, the reality is that all of the campaign doesn't actually change minds that much. I mean, right. people make up their minds about politics over months, years, generations. Uh, and without denigrating your newspaper, but just newspapers in general, I mean, newspapers are coming out and saying you know, which party people their, their readers should vote for, but social media is playing increasingly a big part in this. Yes, it? no, it yeah. really is. You know, newspapers have in the past claimed a victory for campaigns um, and uh, newspapers are coming out now nailing their colours to the mass but I think increasingly they matter less and I think that's because social media and the internet as a whole has kind of taken over. People are able to make their minds up a bit more. And Rafael, I mean, even those letters from collected uh, sort of businessmen and things, I mean, they can quickly fall down, yeah, can't they? Because exactly. and, their uh, paths are explored. Uh, and also, I think, quite often, where something has campaign impact is if it's counterintuitive. So if, for example, the Labour Party had produced a load of FTSE 100 executives saying, actually vote Labour, yeah. that would have been a big story. But, you know, if you've got a bunch of, you know, hedge fund managers and Tory donors saying vote Tory, well, 
guess what? Of course they would say that, wouldn't they? Yeah. And actually, a bunch of kind of lovely uh, uh, actors say Mason. vote Labour. Where, where the stonemasons stand? <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, they, they've got more work coming under Labour, so you know, they might swing that <laughs> crucial, um, you know, fiberglass inscribed pledge stone vote of four people. Indeed. <laughs> I don't know what I've got any of any more to say on that. One. <laughs> uh, Emily and uh, Raphael, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget uh, that uh, Anita McVeigh will be here tomorrow with your morning wake up to the campaign. Uh, join her for election today at 8:30, and election tonight will be back at the same time tomorrow night for your evening roundup.